Hi folks, welcome back to Green Iron TV. Today we're on the road because we have the M715 on the trailer and we're heading to a Jeep show. We're heading to the Jeep deployment at the LST in Muskegon, Michigan to display the vehicle. So we have the Jeep all loaded up, all the gear and display pieces, and we're on the road. So we'll be there in a little bit, get all set up, and uh, We'll take some pictures and videos and uh, interview some people along the way and uh, see what's going on today. Just giving the old M715 a little wash before we head out tomorrow. Headed to a Jeep show here in Michigan. Uh, so we're just getting her all cleaned up so that we can take her down. Put her on display in all of her full military glory. So we are looking forward to getting to the show tomorrow. Here we are, folks, at the Jeep deployment at the LST here in Muskegon, Michigan. We have the M715 all set up, ready for display. And as you can see, we do have the LST in the background there. Of course, the LST was a World War II delivery ship. So we got the M715 all set up with all those guys. Uh, we have Huey, Dewey, and Louie, as we call them. All set up and man in the vehicle. So we do have an M60 machine gunner. We have the driver. And we have our 50 cal gunner up top. We have things loaded out like rucksacks, working actual radios, uh, both the RT524 and the PRC77, all working. Of course, M16's on the dash. So, she's all set up and ready for patrol. Here we are at the LST 393 Museum here in Muskegon, Michigan. This floating museum is a World War II landing ship tank craft that saw service in Sicily, Salerno, and in Normandy on D-Day. Open daily for tours, it is filled with a great amount of historic artifacts and is well worth the $10 admission. Their link will be provided below in the description, so please take a moment and stop by to check them out. And after visiting the LST, I stopped over to see the guys from Operation Black Sheep and their awesome 1968 PBR Mark II. These patrol boats were used during the Vietnam War to patrol the shallow rivers and deltas and made up part of what's known as the Brown Water Navy. Loaded with twin 50 cal machine guns on the front, a 50 on the rear deck, an M60 machine gun, and a grenade launcher, these boats packed a powerful punch while they patrolled the rivers.
remember Dan took me for a nice long ride around Muskegon Lake on this awesome piece of history. Operation Black Sheep is a wonderful nonprofit organization that takes both veterans and civilians for rides on this operational PBR. So please take a moment to click on their link in the description below and check them out. And welcome back. We are working once again on stuff for the M725 ambulance. And today we're working on the fuel tank. Now, this is the original fuel tank from this 1967 ambulance. And at some point, the previous owner stopped using this tank because it uh, stopped flowing and so forth like that. So we've dropped it out of the vehicle, drained all the contents of all the crummy fuel out of it. Uh, treated the inside with evaporust and so forth like that to take care of any rust and scaling inside. Have it all cleaned off and uh, we've tried before to blow through the inlet here to see if we can free up the airline and so forth like that. And it is still blocked. So what's common with these tanks is, is on the end of the pickup there is a kind of a plastic nylon sock. Uh, there's a bit of a pre-filter on these. So what happens is they either become clogged over time or with the new modern ethanol fuels, the ethanol fuel kind of eats it and gums them up a little bit like that. So I have a feeling that's one of the problems with this one. Now one of the tricks used to be to blow air into here and pressurize it and try and push it off so we can. Uh, I've tried that already, it doesn't want to come off so we're going to have to get creative. I'm going to try and go down through the uh, fuel sending hole there down to it see if I can knock it off or the next and final step will be to actually cut the top of the tank out pull this whole piece out clear it and then re-weld it back into the top of the tank so let's keep our fingers crossed that I can get it knocked off through the hole if not we'll be doing some cutting and welding so stay tuned Alrighty, we've been shining a little light down in there so we can see. And I now have this on the end of it. Let's see if we can use some brute force. Pull that off the end. Uh, yes, it did. We actually got it popped off. All right. So now the next thing is going to be to see if we have airflow. All right. We still had a little bit of a setback here. Even though we did get the sock off the end of the pickup in the tank, uh, we are still not getting flow through. So uh, we're going to resort to phase two. We're going to drill a pilot hole. Use the saber saw. We're going to cut the pickup out, get it out, get it on the bench where we can fully work at it, and then uh, weld it back in. So, wish me luck. Cutting into the top of the tank allowed us access down into the tank so we could remove the old pre-filter sock. Here you can see how dirty and clogged this filter was. To 
clean out the pickup tube, we had to cut the 90 degree angle off the top so that we could have access to rod out the pipe. Now we are welding back the 90 degree angle to make it usable again. And lastly, we put a couple tack welds back in the tank here to hold it together. We will finish welding this here in a couple days when we have a little more free time. Thanks for watching. Please remember, subscribe, like, and leave comments. Have a great day.